That is a bad place to be. A bad place to be. You see, when I suggested you stand up, you wanted to stand up, but you were stuck. Now, some people didn't like being stuck. They didn't stand up, and they didn't like being stuck, so they stood up. <coughs> they didn't stand up when the first people stood up, but they did stand up. They broke out of it. But some didn't stand up. Now, we've got to get to a point where we don't give a damn who knows that we didn't stand up, but it's important we know we didn't, and let's understand why. It's something inside that's controlling us. It's controlling your income. It's controlling your relationships. It's controlling everything in your life. It's amazing how this works. But we've got the ability to change it. So let's make up our mind we're going to change it. It's discipline. Discipline is giving ourselves a command and follow it. Now, here's something we really have to understand. Wants and disciplines need to be connected. If you really want something that's beyond where you're at, and you don't have discipline, you're toast. It ain't going to happen. It just will not happen. Now, do you know, even though we're really working this pretty, pretty well, there's people that stood up that still, they will not go ahead and do it. Because when they sat back down, the paradigm took over again. Now, I want to suggest, if you fall into that category, you start getting honest with yourself, fill this damn thing in, send it to Pat, take it to, uh, to Peggy. Do you know, then the book thing, you'll do the book, but every time you think of the book, the book will be symbolic. The book will be the key that opened that door for you, and you'll realize that the damn thing wasn't even locked in the first place. That's really what it is. Stop and think of the number of times I talked to you without Marco, just you. And you were telling me about Marco. I didn't know Marco yet. And then I talked to the multi. I don't know how many times. We talked for a lot of times, though about what you were going to do, but you weren't doing it. Because you had to quit your job, and you've been at it for a long time. And because you're probably pretty good at it, you were in good money there, and you had to walk away from that. And you had to spend money you maybe didn't even have. But look at the difference. And God, you too must be so happy. Michael and Ricky wanted to open this place where they trained puppies. And they were going to call it Puppy Academy. Isn't that what it's called? Puppy Academy. But they wouldn't do it. They didn't step out. And I was saying, just quit. Go do it. And finally they did. It is a screaming success. And they're doing what they love all day. Yeah. Stand up for a minute. Stand up. Now, you want to talk to them, because you know something? There's something you want to do. At the break, talk to them. Ask them, how did you finally make the break? And you finally did. Thank you. Well, this is what did it. They gave themselves a command and follow it. They were in the seminars. They study. I wasn't teaching them anything new. I was telling them the same thing. It takes the repetition sometimes to get it to sink in. Look it. When the discipline starts to fade, just say, wait a minute. No way. I am not going backwards. This is it. I'm going to make that move. It's not going to be a wish. I'm going to make the change. I am going to give myself a command, and I'm going to get out, and I'm going to do it. Now, I don't know what it is you want to do, but I know there's something you want, or you wouldn't even be here. 
You weren't looking for something to do and you just went, oh, there's a seminar, I'll wander instead and spend the weekend there. That isn't the way it worked. Some of you had to come a long ways. Some of you came from another country. Some of you had to borrow money to come here. So you're not here by accident, so why in hell would we go to all that trouble to get here and then not do it? And we should understand why we're not doing what we want to do. Look at all the people that stood up. Now, you know, if you weren't involved in that, you'd think, well, I didn't do that. No, but there's something else that you're just the same as, as they are. It's like Ricky and Marco, they, they weren't opening the dog academy, you know. I wouldn't even want to guess at the amount of money you've made since we first met. Yeah, you, were, you weren't even working when I first met you. But you've earned a lot of money. You're probably into the millions by now. Is that right? You're just cracking the surface. Yeah. And what a beautiful sight you're seeing. You broke the surface. Look it. You got an idea, you got to act on that idea. That's what you call learning. You're not learning in here. You're gathering information in here. Learning is when you consciously entertain the idea, you get emotionally involved in the idea, you step out and act on the idea, and you change the end result. That's learning. You get the idea, and you act on the idea, and everything in your life changes. Just watch, all the nonsense is gone, and you've mastered this one thing. You can give yourself a command, and you can do it. Do you know, I think of myself some days, and I really like me. Because when I get a big idea, I do it. I don't screw around with it. I'll bet the farm on it. I was reading a little book one time, The Young Millionaires. It was published by Playboy. It was just a pocketbook. And you had to earn a million to get in the book. This is an old, long time ago. Some of them had earned many millions, like Colonel Saunders was one in it. There was about 18 bio biographies about people that earned money, the young millionaires. And in the afterword of the book, I read something that really made me feel good. It pointed out that everyone in that book, that everything they owned on the big moves. If they missed, they blow the whole damn thing up. And they never considered themselves gambling. I live that way. I live that way. It never enters my, enters my mind I might miss. Get to a point where you master this. You give yourself a command and then follow it. Now, some of you will say, oh, you shouldn't do this, Bob. Yes, I should. God told me to do it. Take this page, if you stood up, this application, and fill it in. Do it right now. This is on the book. Those of you who stood up, I don't care if you got any money or not. That doesn't matter. All that will come when you need it. Fill it in. And then, Peggy, I want you to come stand up here. And I want you to fill this in and go and give it to her. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm not earning five cents on this, not a nickel. You'll probably end up earning a whole lot on it. I'm doing this because I want you to step out and act on something that your paradigm doesn't want you to do, but your conscious mind does want you to do. So when you get one of these done, fill it in and bring it up and give it to her. Okay? Let's give them a hand. Now, how do we change this? Here they come. Give them a hand. Come on. That's good. Don't be shy, folks. I'm going to tell you, something else will come up later on in the week, and you're going to very, this is the same as the book deal, and keep doing it.
There's others that are sitting there, they stood up and they're not filling it in and they're thinking, God, I wish he'd shut up. You see, I don't care if you don't like me. I want you to like you. I like me. That's all that's important is that you like you. Any other people who don't have it and want to sign up? Well, you're just taking them back there and they can go back and get them from you. Well, I want you to make an announcement. Oh, cool. Thank you. Peter's got it. If you want to sign up, Peter's got the things here. Go back and get them from him. Okay? Now, I just mentioned that learning, you're not learning in here. To learn, you need to act on an idea. This is on page 81. So let's look here for a moment. The yellow organized education and the white is Proctor Gallagher model. So watch this carefully. Here, this represents you or me. This represents a person. And here's the model. We go to school and we hear what the teacher's saying. You hear with your ears. This is very important that you get this. And because you hear what the teacher's saying, you gather the information. Gathering information is exactly what it implies. It's gathering information. The books are piling up in our consciousness, all that's information. Every now and then through the year, the school has a system where they test you to see if you've learned anything. So they give you questions and you're going to answer them. They want to find out if you know it. Now here's the thing, this is not knowing and this is not learning, but that's what we've been conned into believing, so we still buy it. Person say, yeah, I know that. They don't know it at all. That's not learning. That's gathering information. And I'm going to tell you something. If it was just information that we needed, librarians would be away to the races because they got millions of books. <laughs> Lots of information. That's not the answer. Now look here. When you listen... Odds are pretty good you'll start learning. But you've really got to listen. Listening is done with the emotions. It's not done with the sensory factors. Listen, you listen with your emotions. You let yourself get emotionally involved in the lesson. When you listen, odds are pretty good you're going to learn. Now, really watch this. Learning is when you consciously entertain the idea, you get emotionally involved in that idea, you step out and act on the idea, and you change the end result. The people you see walking to Peggy right now are learning something. Learning, the learning is the feedback that you get from the change in results from what you did. You consciously entertain it. Okay? You get emotionally involved in the idea, you step out and act on the idea, and you change the end result. It's the feedback from the change in result that's the learning experience. Now let's think of this for a moment. We talked about this. We want to learn how do we overcome the paradigm. You consciously entertain the idea. You get emotionally involved in the idea, and at that point, some people stop it. Just get rid of it. Don't be more emotionally involved. And they did not fill in the sheets. They didn't come and turn it in. Now, you and I do this every day where they let the paradigm really control us. And it's too bad because we're cheating ourselves out of something absolutely phenomenal in life. This is where Buckminster Fuller put it so well. He said, you never change things by fighting existing reality. The people that are not acting on it, that stood up, are fighting existing reality. He said, 
you've got to build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Start to see yourself as the different person. And you act on it. Even though it scares you, you act on it. And it's rather strange how something like that can scare you. Why does it scare you? Because it's not in harmony with the old paradigm. The energy that you're impressing is a Y-type energy. Peggy covered that. And you're impressing a Y-type energy upon the X-type conditioning. It causes a very uncomfortable feeling. You just step out and act on it. You've got to build a new model. I remember Sandy sitting down talking to me when um, she came in as a partner and she became the CEO and president of the company. And she said, you're not going to like some of the things that go on. But I made a commitment before she took it that I would support what she did because I knew what I was doing wasn't working as well as it should. You never change things by fighting existing reality. You build a new model. And that's what she said. Well, how can I build a new model? And we built a new model that works like unadulterated magic. Now, that's what you've got to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here, and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos, and we will notify you when we put a new one up.